Hey guys, episode four of the Traveling Hounds show. Uh, it's raining here in Denver, and uh, or actually in Blackhawk, and me and Travis decided we'd take a seat here on this little park bench. Uh, it's actually a smoking station for uh, people that come out of the casino, but uh, we're gonna get going with episode four here. Really hope that you're enjoying this. Uh, we've been getting a lot of good feedback from it. We appreciate all the questions that's coming through. Uh, please keep those coming, as uh, it sure makes these 20 some days go by a little faster for us. Uh, I believe T-Man's going to start us out today uh, with the first few questions. Go ahead, T. Okay. Yeah, first question comes from my friend Jerry. He asked if this was our first trip out west. I'll let you start out. Uh, for me, Jerry, it, uh, it is not. Uh, I've come out west uh, every single year, actually, for the last uh, five years, I guess. Uh, but this is my second road trip in a vehicle. All the other times I've actually flown. Uh, T-Man, go ahead. Yeah, this this is my very first trip up there. Me, me and Isaac was talking about and everything. I decided to plan to go go with Isaac and explore explore the West for the first time, and it's it's pretty pretty unique. Yeah, it is. Um, thanks for the question, Jerry Moore. Thanks, Jerry. Who's next, T? Bobby Stewart. Uh oh. She asked. How did you plan your, your route for this trip? That sounds a lot like a question to me. Uh, Bobby, honestly, uh, a few of these places were picked based on the last year's road trip that I came on. I knew I wanted to revisit and come back to some of the same places. And uh, But really, last year's was based on going to some MLB parks and going to check out a few uh, baseball teams. This one was just random, saying, let's just hit the road and go. You know, I know that I wanted to go to L.A. and San Francisco and see some new areas, but uh, this first part of the trip is kind of some common places I've seen last year. And then uh, to end the trip, I wanted to see all kind of new things, Mount Rushmore, uh, Yellowstone, Yosemite, um, and things like Devil's Tower, uh, those different types of places. So uh, really not much planning other than I know that I want to go to these places, and let's do it. So thanks, Bobby, for that. Thanks, Bobby. You're up. Now, we've got uh, probably the most questions that we've had so far. Uh, I'm going to read these off. I'm going to ask both of these here. These both come from jo Josh Van Nordstrom. Thanks, Josh, for the, for the questions, and we're going to answer them uh, uh, together here. Team, I'll let you start. His first question is, who gets to pick when and where we eat? And his second question is, do we plan on stopping at any MLB parks? Um, to answer the first question, as it so far has made most of the decision that we We've enjoyed some good, because it makes pretty good, pretty good food down here. I, I love it. Yeah. What about MLB parts? And you MLB, we've uh, that that's up to Isaac. We'll, we'll leave it up to what, what he wants to do, because he's a he's in charge of trip. Well, you know, uh, the first day in Denver, we actually went to the uh, Coors Field. Uh, they had a rain delay. It looked like we might be able to get in, uh, but really, it, it was already in like the seventh or eighth inning and, and we had decided not to try and attempt that. All the teams that are that we're hitting the cities of, they they seem to be on the road. We do plan on watching either a Dodgers or Angels game uh, if they're in town or watching a, a White Sox or Cubs game on our way back. So uh, that is in the plans and we do plan on trying to do that. And then uh, as far as picking where to eat, I really just talked to T-Man. Hey man, you hungry? Uh, you know, what do you want to eat? The only thing really, I said, we're not eating chicken tenders every day. And uh, he's somewhat held true to that up to this point. But uh, again, thanks, Josh, for both those questions. Thanks, Josh. Uh, next one, Kelly North says, a month's a long time. Who do you think will get homesick first? Uh, this is my first time being uh, way, way out west for 30 days, so it, it could be me. I'm Kelly, I'm definitely going to say it's Travis. Uh, we might cut the trip short, who knows, but uh, you know, he's probably missing some loved ones, and that's understandable. And uh, I'll just play it by ear and see what T-Man says. But I'm going T-Man on that one. Next question, Trevor Sherman says, which is your favorite Avenger and why? Um, Agrifor, Agrifor, Agrifor has to be my Noah. Iron Man, Iron Man. Iron Man. He's going with Iron Man. Iron Man's good. I think, you know, man, there's a bunch. You got the Hulk, uh, Thor. Uh, I'm not a big movie buff, Trevor, to be honest with you. I do know some of those names. 
Uh, I'm probably going to go with the Hulk uh, just because. I, you know, I was going to actually say Thor when I first read that question, but I think I'm going with the Hulk right here in Episode 4 as far as being my favorite Avenger. And Trevor, we appreciate that question. Uh, Shane Shackelford says, was Bo Jackson a better football player or baseball player in his prime? I'm going with football. Man, I'm going with football, too. That man is an absolute beast, Shane. Uh, I would love to see what he was if he didn't get injured. Uh, I, we might not ever see another one like Bo, uh, but I'm going with football player for sure. Tim Brandstetter says, who is the best pure shooter to ever play at Corbin in your lifetime? Question for both. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, well, it would have to be between – I'm thinking in between lines between Crawford and Taylor because both of them left a big dynasty to our program. I'd have to say at the end it had to be Andrew. You know, best pure shooter – best pure scorer slash shooter, in my opinion, Andrew Taylor is what I'm going to say. I mean, I know you could take shooter and score maybe two different ways. Uh, but I don't know if I don't know if Corbin basketball program seen somebody like Andrew in quite some time. I, I thought he was a special treat to watch. Uh, we was lucky to have him, and I hope he does well at Marshall uh, now. So thanks, Tim, for that question. I think that's a good one. Uh, John Allison, he's trying to start a little war here. This is this is a funny, you know. And, and I, I'm curious. I don't know what T Man's about to say, but John Allison asked, "Who's better, LBJ?" Or Jordan, and he wants to argue. Uh, he's he's mentioning Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan, yep. That's who I have to go with. Going with Jordan, you're gonna have to go more than that. Give me an explanation. Well, Michael Jordan was one. He's a legend in the NBA. <laughs> legend. He's one one of the best scores in the in the NBA history. So I, I gotta go with him. Well, you know, I I agree uh, to some extent. My argument on this is I feel like a lot of times in this argument, now yeah, two different eras, blah, 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 you always will hear all that, you can't compare apples and oranges, whatever. Jordan's great, yeah, he's got six rings, that's kind of like the biggest thing that is always brought up about it. And I like LBJ, uh, I'm not big on the ring argument. Uh, one reason why is if it was all just dependent on rings, Robert Ory's the best player to ever live. I mean, he has seven NBA titles, uh, so therefore, if we're just going on rings, or if you win championships or not, then, you know, Robert Ory, because, again, seven. Uh, you know, we got Bill Russell, we got all kinds of, he's won a ton of rings. Uh, for me, I think what's so impressive is that with the talent level that's there, now we can argue that LBJ's been in the East and all that stuff, for him to make eight straight conference final, uh, eight straight conference finals, win those and go to eight straight NBA finals, in my opinion, is is unbelievable. I don't care what his record is in the finals. I really don't. I, greatness to me is, is determined more on, on what did you do during your career, and I think too many people put weight on it only being NBA championships. If you've ever played sports, I think that you know, like, let's go to a high school level. Being back-to-back -back regional champs is hard as heck to do. I don't care what sports you're doing it in go to the professional level where that's all those guys do and he makes eight straight finals, that is impressive alone. And on top of that, he carries his team each year. I'm excited to see him here in these closing years before he retires. You honestly, John, could go in a whole episode with just that by itself. But I appreciate that question. I am interested to hear what you guys say uh, as well. And looks like we've got one more and then we'll have to rock, paper, scissors. I got a good feeling, guys, I'm going up 3-1 today, but we'll have to see. Cody Stumbo, saving the best for last. Shout out Alice Lloyd College, I wore this. And also, Cody, I seen in my wardrobe today that uh, those shorts probably look familiar to you. And uh, if you want them back, just let me know. I can, uh, you know, ship, ship them to you. You say what's the best, fa or what's my favorite Burger 327 story. Dude, best years of our lives, honestly, and, uh, and it didn't even know it. We complained all the time. I'm actually, I think I could go a story for every actual level in Burger. Uh, like, if you go to the first floor, was one of the things that come to mind is, is Hobbs and Stu, you know, and them always going back and forth. And the one in particular night when Stu wanted to get out the window 
uh, to go get his shoes because he said his shoes was outside but Stu was like in another world if you know what I mean and, and we was trying every way in the world to get him to stay in the room and he kept trying to climb out the window I mean that was one of those nights like oh my goodness if you want to go outside of burger and, and talk about Zach Hurts monumental speech the best inspirational speech you've ever heard and then he ends it with by tonight that is a great one that's going down in the best all-time story in history and you know what I'm talking about if I go to our actual room it's probably one of two things one machine gun Kelly MGK baby um, and your love for him and us blaring that and on top of that the birthday song and anytime you played those videos or played that music playing any type of video game you instantly became like invincible you was like the best in the world if you was down 14 in madden with four minutes to go put the song on you're somehow winning I, it was unbelievable uh, to me the second thing is probably when you tore your acl and you yelled somebody grab me a glass of water and we like honestly started dying laughing you was telling us all that, hey, man, my ACL store, we was kind of laughing at you, and, and you limped out of practice, went up to the room. I remember coming back to the room after practice, and you was sitting in the chair, the gaming chair, playing Madden, or playing uh, whatever game it was you was actually playing that day between Johnny Manziel, your quarterback, and all that, and you said, you look normal. I mean, you even got up, walked to the fridge, got a drink, and I was like, dude, your knee is fine. And you kept saying, nope, it's tore. Nope, it's tore. And I'll be daggum if it wasn't tore. Man, I uh, love you, Death Brother. It was great to see your question. I'd love to see you sometime. Uh, T-Man, did you enjoy watching him play? Oh, yeah. He, he's one of the kind of athletes, that's for sure. Um, we'll cut, end on the, on our paper scissors, I guess, and then I'll, I'll make one less, one less Okay. Talk. Well, I've been thinking about this, and I think I got T-Man figured out. So we will have to see if I'm correct here. T, if I win this, I go up 3-1. And that's pretty, that's pretty dominating, if you ask me, okay? Are you ready? Are you sure? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I knew it. Knew it. Knew he was going scissors. I knew he was going scissors yesterday after I beat him with paper. Knew it. 3-1, Wilson, 3 Travis won. Go ahead, end this show, T. All right. We appreciate your all's uh, questions to us, and I hope we answered all, all your questions. And until episode five. Yes, this one's a little bit more down to earth, a little bit more relaxing. Uh, if the weather will give us a break, we've got some exciting places we're going to do day five, day six at, and then again on to Telluride next stop. Till next time.